Welcome, Cancer friends. It's Terry Amore with the Tarot Special Beach Edition. And it's Tuesday, and that's uh, Gemini Cancer Day. Um, right now we're going to do your singles, super single read, the uh, four pillars already shuffled, put a little energy on them. And um, also out today, have the heart spread of your couple. But this is for the super singles. What we want to say is, your soulmate's been circling around the airport and they can't land because the runway's always busy with these other people. Your ex problems. And um, now that you're super single, uh, they want to land and meet you, finally. We're all for that here. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to describe them and uh, look at the emotional aspect, intellectual aspect. The sexual and love aspects and the lifestyle core value aspects in them, which are the core pillars of a relationship, I think. So, thanks for joining me, guys. Let's see what we got. Let's see our soulmate here for our cancer friends for the third week of April. Really, it's for whenever you watch it, if it resonates. I've accidentally watched ones years old and it was so heavily resonated as the hair stand up on the back of your neck. So, there's no accidents. You can accidentally click on anything. <laughs> you think it's an accident. Oh, let's see what we got for cancers here. Picture of their soulmates here. Help us out name of light and love so it serves the greatest good what do we got for our cancer friends what is their soulmate looking at their intellectual our emotional nature queen of wands and the death card don't read too much into this it's a different kind of spread here um, let's pick it up and this is their intellectual nature the ten of wands and the King of Cups. And let's see. And their sexual justice. And love nature. King of Wands. I like that. I'm going to have to go down here with your their core values and lifestyle. We're going to have temperance in the Page of Cups. That's an interesting combination with their core values. Um, emotionally, Scorpio Moon. <coughs> Stands out. <coughs> yeah. With death underneath there. It's not so much about transformation here because this is about their emotional needs or it's a little different reading. But <coughs> I'd read more into that Scorpionic 8th house, uh, the occult, um, the shadow self, um, all of the Pluto stuff. Um, a great deal of depth to this person. And very most likely they're into the occult and there by that I don't mean like witchcraft I mean like tarot and astrology maybe witchcraft um, but look at the Queen of Wands so emotionally they're very strong too um, probably with the Queen of Wands a bit gushy and man or woman like a really outgoing and um, positive and charismatic you know man or woman uh, charismatic energy about them um, but they have this depth to them um, and again this is your person's not to be afraid of but they they might be into the dark side so they're gonna tell you stories about maybe they're interested in watching ghost shows maybe um, they're things that have to do about life and death fa uh, fascinate them. Maybe they watch the detective shows as murder shows. Um, 
Again, this is all that eighth house stuff going on. Um, but I think they're really fun and outgoing, and that's how you're going to know them too. Like, not a wallflower, not bashful. Um, and uh, but as you get to talk to them, even in a date situation, I think you'll begin to see pretty quickly um, that they have this tremendous depth to them. Um, they could be a tarot reader, or be a astrologer or something like this or a medium or something and then with the king of cups and the ten of wands um bear with me i gotta be honest the breeze feels delicious it's been a, it's a little warm <laughs> wow <laughs> okay cancer uh let's see with their king of cups and the ten of wands uh, so different with this reading. You notice the King of Cups at, at the bottom. It kind of applies more to the unconscious area. But it's with that uh, death. And uh, this is the aspect of the intellect that is more of the unconscious that goes together. And so it shows someone here. If we have this Queen of Wands up here. They have an emotional understanding, emotional wisdom, emotional intelligence, emotional uh, availability. Um, and they're probably, with the Ten of Wands, very good at talking about... This may be what they do with this Death card. Very good at talking about anything to do with emotions, like a master of emotions. And with the Ten of Wands here... Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm trying to think of how they're going to be so you can identify. Um, <clears throat> I think they're going to be a little extra. Like they might, this is your person, so you're going to be okay with this. You'll, you'll iron it out. But they may talk over you. They may be very enthusiastic. Um, they are very. They think very fast. They think probably with this ten of wands ahead of you. And um, I just see They think ahead of you and um, they're thinking... Uh, uh, they're thinking about the depths of situations. They're just not looking at the, the topical outside facade of anything. Um, they look at things from a very deep, again, that eighth house and now king of cups energy, the master of emotions and depth. Um, so they might get a little carried away with themselves and be a little exuberant, you know. Um, a little bit of a natural sort of life of the party personality too so it's an interesting energy because you know they're not a shallow person or anything like that uh, so it's nice it's like they're not you know all uh, uptight or uh, reserved or you know, trying to control anything um, you know, trying to always be heavy always be focused on the uh, the eighth house stuff uh, they can let their hair down and have fun and just have so it's a nice balance with this person you know uh, and I think you'll start to feel that in a, in a short time with them and then when you look at the sexuality with the king of wands and the justice definitely they're dominant um, but they could have Libra in their chart like Mars um, and um, they could also have some fire energy too so with uh, Libra, you could have like Libra and Sag mixed in, Libra, Venus, and a Sag Mars, or Libra, Venus, and um, Leo, Mars, uh, something like that. Look for that. And um, they're going to be kind of dominant, uh, not whips and chains dominant, but they'll be able to take control, it won't be bashful like that. And... Um, um, They'll be very concerned that their lover yeah, is happy. You know, they'll make sure that you're happy, and they'll do it in a very fiery way. You know, so sex is going to be really good. I mean, you get all that passion plus you get uh, the tenderness and stuff with justice. Because you see that justice there. To me, it says the sex of them means a lot. And you know, we have this death. A lot of this eighth house is that deep uh, sexuality that's all about intimacy and merging and all that and uh, that's what's coming out here so while it's passionate it's like to them it's still this very meaningful experience that um, 
keeps them balanced, helps them feel connected and in balance with you and intimate with you. And then with temperance in the Page of Cups, um, in their lifestyle and their core values, I keep seeing these cups too, with the King Cups and their emotions. They could be someone that works emotionally with, maybe with children, is what this is gets. It's like uh, they're very balanced themselves with temperance and uh, very aware. And it, there's a kind of optimism here. This is again up here with the Queen and the Ten of Wands. It, there's an optimism and uh, outgoingness and a friendliness uh, and with the page of cups uh, something emotional um, the page is about communication and so I think they're going to tell you a story where they work with children or they worked with children uh, or they're good with children um, and in terms of a family children's going to be important to them and I think it says to a man or woman they're going to be a very patient father or a very patient uh, mother and also with the sex, there's a patience too. This King of Wands, you wouldn't expect it. Well, with justice, uh, like when they make love, they they might uh, have fun, like toying with you, you know, making you wait or something. Um, but like, so how this translates over here, they're pretty centered in themselves, you know, with the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups. They're they're mature and comfortable with themselves. They feel in control. They're not. Uh, they don't carry a lot of fear or anything like that. Um, so they're very kind of in the moment too. I think with temperance and the page of cups, which is also very good with kids. You know, I just came to me. It could work with dogs too. Maybe it's Caesar Milan. He's cool. Seems cool. So let me know, uh, Cancer, if that resonates with you. Um, I hope you meet this man or woman. <laughs> You know, it's for the third week of April. Uh, hit like if you would. It helps. It's good karma. It's easy. And um, you'll always see us uh, here with these readings for the singles and couples on Tuesdays, Cancers. Thank you.